Not too much time passed since Kamaru Usman has tried to say hello to Chuck Liddell at Israel Adesanya's celebration party dedicated to the win against Alex Pereira. So today we present to you another video of when trash talk went right, rubric, featuring the last style bender and now the former champion in the face of the Brazilian Poetan. Please don't forget to about the likes, comments with four words and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. To refresh your memory a little bit, we will briefly overview the main chapters of the story. In 2017, a former kickboxing champ and a Glory Hall of Famer named Alex Pereira became some kind of a nemesis of one New Zealander, Israel Adesanya. By the will of fate, he beat him twice in kickboxing and became the first man who managed to knock him out. After some time, he followed his steps and began to tempestuously conquer the mixed martial arts. Though having a modest record from a professional standard of three wins and one loss, it was more than enough to make it to the world's best league. In just one calendar year, he broke into the top five of the middleweight division and made clear anybody that based on this whole backstory in kickboxing, the news about this fight will not take too long to be announced. Adesanya was also ready for that, but in all fairness, he was skeptical about everybody was interested if Poetan could repeat what he did a couple of years ago. I can't change the past. It's happened. That is the past. I've let it go. But now there's an opportunity now to, to rewrite history for the future. This is my chance, and that's why I've done every single thing. As history taught us, Adesanya got affected by the champion's curse of 2022 because throughout more than four rounds, he was convincingly winning the fight against Alex Pereira. However, in the middle of the final round, the contender managed to flip the game and beat the last style bender on his own field. Well, it doesn't matter to me. You know what I mean? I want to fight whatever, whoever. They choose whoever I want to fight, and if that's the fight that I'm going to do, I'm going to be ready. It wasn't really clear how he was going to take that loss. The news about an immediate rematch was not present in the media, and quite frankly, the media outlets themselves were not very respectful towards Israel and his defeat. It got flooded with memes that Israel will never be able to beat the Brazilian, and if he switches to any other sport, Pereira will follow him there. And Alex himself was adding some fuel to the fire. Uh, this Alex says he's going to respond like this easy situation. He, he was on his show, right? It's a complicated situation because, you know, he say he, he don't know if he wants to fight with me, want a rematch like that because the fact that three losses, you know what I mean, lost the Bell MMA, let's say that he loses again, what is he going to do? He's going to go up to a heavyweight. He's going to be fighting the guys. But over time, Izzy started to give interviews and attend podcasts where he confidently stated that the story is not yet over. He said like, oh, I don't think he's going to want to meet a rematch. I'm like, he doesn't know me. Yeah. I'll fight you until I beat you. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'll be 60. I'll come to your favela. I'll knock on your fucking door. <laughs> Let's go. My walking stick and be like, yo, you and me right now. Like, we need to go. Because that's just me. I don't give a fuck. Even if it's just one, cool. Yeah. I beat you. How long? I, I could beat him. I want to play a game. I want to play a game. The game is not over. It's hunting season. You can run, but you can't hide. The hunter now becomes a hunter. Luckily, already in January, Dana White announced that the rematch targeted for one of the nearest events. Now, next up, April 8th, UFC 287. Here's the lineup. In the main event, middleweight champion, new middleweight champion, Alex Pajeda puts his title on the line in his rematch against former champ Israel Adesanya. Exactly since the moment of the official build-up, it became clear that Israel is as serious as he has ever been. What's my motivation? I've never not been motivated to fight this guy, but for this one, I've put the pressure on myself, like, fuck, oh, fuck everything else. I have to beat this guy. So, yeah, that's, I guess, my motivation is just beating him. And I, like I said, they can say whatever they want, you know, it's... 1-0 or 3-0, I don't keep score, I settle them, and I just need one, and I'm gonna get it done. Uh, I think he 
It's a weird one. It's a weird one. I think, to be honest, when you see someone that you beat, it's so much better than you. You know, of course, you're gonna feel a way. You'd be like, man, his ego would be like, I'm better than this guy. So that definitely would have motivated him to try and get to MMA. But again, without me, he wouldn't be where he's at. He would have got exposed a long time ago. I carved an easy path for him into this, and I'm happy for this opportunity. Another thing, I'm happy for this opportunity to prove how great I am. You know, because a lot of people don't get this opportunity in life, and this is for me, like. I think people might, you know, oh, four and all, whatever, he's gonna beat this and that, but what if I beat him? What if I beat him better than he's ever beat? Worse than ever. What then? How does, what does that say about me? What does that say about him? That's in the past, this is now. And he knows how dangerous I am. He knows I'm not an easy fight. He's gonna have to go through fire. He's gonna have to go through fight. I'm gonna make him fight for his life in this fight. Honestly, the title, man, that title's sitting in my office, getting the dust. It's more about the challenge of beating a very special and unique martial artist. A guy that we've lost to previously. That is what this momentous occasion is about. The challenge of that. Um, and the title is the bonus. How do I break down a fight like that? I know what works for me. I know um, how I can beat this guy. I know every time I fight this guy, I'm dominating him. I'm beating him. And then... He has this special ability to recover and put his foot on the gas. So I have to find a way to take, take him out of the driver's seat, which I will. And for me, this fight, I feel like the underdog. I feel like everyone's counting me out. I feel like, you know, because of the results of the last fight, people are just like, you know, goldfish memories. They forgot what I've done in this game. They forgot who I am. And it's time to remind people how great I am. Pereira also did not leave himself on the sidelines and shared his thoughts on the rematch. Well, I don't know about the expression, but I do know how to beat him. I do know how he fights. I do know how he works. So I do know how, 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 how to beat him. UFC 287 press conference. I say his uh, recovery and his fighting spirit. That's something that I definitely felt like he, um, he surprised me with. But Saturday night, Time for talking is done. I'm gonna show him my fighting spirit. And you all know I have that shit. It's gonna be a physical fight. It's gonna be a psychological fight. I've said as many times, we have to forget all those three fights. But I know he hasn't forgotten any of those three fights. And I think that's gonna be a psychological factor. The important thing is what you're gonna see on Saturday. Ceremonial weigh-ins. Everything. We're coming to Israel. The last time, ever, ladies and gentlemen. I've said everything I've had to say. All I'm gonna say to you is tomorrow, I'm just gonna take his collar off and I'm gonna take him out just like a toy. As you might have noticed, overall, Israel Adesanya's attitude and behavior changed significantly compared to last year when he had to face his nemesis and defend the championship gold. The last style bender was extremely focused, calculated, and most importantly, angry. But to be honest, it's not common to see an unusually happy Izzy being angry prior to the fight. This time, the style bender took it very seriously and gave everything he got. He came out of the fight not only the Brazilian himself, but every hater who wrote him off. He stepped into the octagon with the intention to prove that he can beat Alex Pereira. And he did it. Israel knocked less than two rounds to score an unconditional win via devastating knockout. Adesanya broke the Brazilian curse. He proved that he is one of the best middleweights in the entire UFC. He reclaimed his championship and dotted all the I's in the rivalry. Eight mile moment, yeah. I told y'all, you only get one shot, do not miss a chance to blow. And man, when it was my shot, I landed that man, I did it again, boom. And I see him hit the ground and I thought about George Foreman versus Ali because Engage, my fight where brand just signed with um, the Ali Foundation and something in my head prior to this fight was like, if I have that moment, should I hold back like Ali did with George Foreman, the phantom punch? But I was like, nah, he wouldn't do the same to me. So I sent that from heaven. Huh. I just landed on his head. I, I think that's to. a I fair assessment. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. So the first time he knocked me out in Brazil, um, his son came into the ring and then started to just lie dead next to me. And I'm like, you f so I'll whoop your ass if your dad don't do it for you. But then, um, yeah, I looked for his kid and I, I pointed at him and I saw him and I was like, hey, 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 just to remind him. Israel Adesanya did everything he was talking about prior to the tournament. 
Even when people did not believe in him, shared the jokes on the internet, and blatantly laughed at him, he continued to work and believe in himself, in his power and abilities, stayed true to himself and his team. He backed up every single word he said. He knocked out Alex Pereira and did it in an extremely convincing fashion. There it is, guys. Leave your comments below. Tell us, what was your reaction to Israel Adesanya's victory? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. And of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. See you soon.